Welcome to Lesson 40, which is the longest chapter in the whole book. It's not necessarily the hardest, but it's just long. So sorting really just means arranging things in some sort of order. So most times it's ascending or descending, or like sort A to Z. There are two different ways to sort. So one is incremental, so one at a time, and the other one's the divide and conquer, which is usually a recursion. Usually the one with recursion, the divide and conquer, is going to be the most, like, it's the, the best way to do it. But sometimes the incremental approach can be used too. So if you scroll down, we have a pre-written code in the book. So go ahead, right click, select tool, and I'm going to copy and paste this into um, Lesson 40 section. So I'm going to make a new class, name it Lesson 40. It doesn't really matter what else we check because we're just going to copy and paste it. Uh, it's called Tester in your book. Make sure you name it whatever you name your. So I'm going to come through and edit this real quick. There, that looks much better. I also commented out this um, place where we're going to put in some code. So we are going to create a method down here called sort. You can call it whatever you want, but I figure since we're sorting, I'll just name mine sort. We're going to be sending it an integer array, and then we're sorting this array. Okay, but you can also sort double, string, long, short, it doesn't matter. Um, Wherever string is based off that ASCII code, so it will actually sort your words. So once we have these integers, we sort the array, and then what we're going to do is you're going to go through each spot and actually print out each one in order. So once it's been sorted, it'll print 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, and so on. So this code down here, our sort, our sort, this is going to change with each example that we do. So I just want to be sure that you guys are aware that this is going to change for every single type of sort that we do. And you will notice that some work faster than others or better. The first type of sorting is bubble sort. But since we're, it's not going to be on the AP exam, we're not going to spend time on it. The only thing you'll need to know about bubble sort is that it looks at two numbers, compares them, and whichever one's lower goes in the front. So it looks at four and two, two is lower than four, so they swap. Now four and five look at each other, four is lower, so it stays in the left. One is less, and then it basically just goes through over and over and over again until it's correct. So bubble sort is very time consuming, very time consuming. It's not very hard to understand, but it takes a long time to do. We are also going to skip quick sort because again, it's not part of the AP exam. All the videos in this lesson will compare to a different type of sorting. So you are now ready to move on to the next video, which is selection sort.